Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach. Finishing up my regular work day of the, what am I? CEO of publisher, editor in chief, whatever I am. Uh, and me and my buddy one time, uh, actually it's like, yeah, when we were gonna publish this other comic, uh, he's like, uh, I'm the CEO. I go, really? I mean, it was just, it was just us, so it was stupid. I go, really? What does that stand for? He's like, <laughs> he didn't know what it stood for, but he really wanted to be it. Let's just say owner. Um, and uh, uh, this is a day of uh, uh, tough decisions, tough decisions. Sometimes you got to tell people stuff they don't want to hear. Um, but uh, speaking of stuff people don't want to hear, here's Prisoner X by Vita Ayala from SJW Marvel. So Prisoner X is tied into the Age of X-Men. Uh, crossover, an event that Marvel has already forgotten about, and this has been a trend for the last year and a half. They will hype something out, and as soon as it comes out, like they just lose all interest. And they still got all these little tie-ins, but like tie-ins, but like they just don't care. <laughs> oh, look, here's another one. It's called War of the Realms Strike Force. Oh, it's a it's a spit-off of a spit-off of a spit-off. Oh, really sh 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 quiet. Um, so this is uh the Danger Room is a, this is an alternate timeline where everyone's a mutant, so things are supposed to be great, but there's still problems. So the Danger Room is a, is a prison for uh, mutants who have gotten in trouble. And uh, this is part two. This uh, artist is German Peralta, which I feel like I've liked him in something else. I mean, this stuff was okay, but I mean, like, just flat shot, boring, boring. Uh, the, the part that really got me bothered was here, because the main character is... Lucas, Luke, Lucas Bishop, aka Bishop, uh, but his government name is Gordon Goodbrother because this guy is a wimp. Now, this is an alternate timeline, and there's some shenanigans, and some people are acting a little different. But I need to emphasize that this has been almost every appearance of Bishop over the last two years that I've read he's like they usually he's usually like moderately muscled he's very calm he's the essence of a Gordon Good brother a Gordon Good brother is a black male character who is blandly competent calm and nice and you wouldn't remember his name two minutes nothing it the reason that this exists is because SJWs are so obsessed with destroying people this is their number one goal who can we destroy today Somebody sent me a, a screenshot. Uh, Christopher Sabella is trying to destroy Peter David. Why? Because they're addicts. <laughs> because this is their only happiness in life. Uh, who do we destroy today? Um, they know they're in a very dangerous game. They know they have no friends, merely allies. And these are very tenuous alliances. And they, they know that black characters are a minefield. You, almost anything can get you an, a false accusation of racism. So what do they do? Nothing. <laughs> what is Bishop's character? Uh, he's nice and everyone likes him. He does the right thing. You know, you know this guy always flosses. Like, he never goes to sleep without flossing. This guy does his taxes on January 28th. He is the most boring, bland character you can ever think of, but... Whew, won't be called racist. Or, uh, you will be called boring, but you won't be called racist. I... We'll call you racist, though, <laughs> because it's racist to give people different treatment, different rules for different people because of their race. If you are so nervous to write a black person, by the way, this even happens to black authors these days. You need to dial it back and realize that you are afraid of 12 psychopaths on Twitter, about 12 of them, about 140 people who kind of like everything they like. And that's it. No normal person thinks you're a racist because you have a, a black character who has a flaw. It's just crazy people, and they need to be ignored. So, so <laughs> look at Bishop. He's just a wimp. They're literally pulling grade school bullying tactics. Hey, I've got this note. <laughs> no, no, you don't, loser. They're like laughing at him. She blows his nose, and he's just like, come on, guys, come on. He just gets kicked in the face and he's down on the ground. He's like 230 pounds of bustle. And then we get some LOL so random humor. Ha <laughs> ha, she thinks she's in a straight jacket. And it's like, they always have this bland face. Like, 
Look at this body language. Could you please? I mean, it's okay. If, you know what? I'm not even gonna ask. Like, he's just such a wimp. Uh, he gets like, like, he's like, he just walks around, people just punch him. He gets like one good move before getting wrecked. Look at his body language. <laughs> you can hear him squealing. Will you stop? <laughs> and then uh, he gets wrecked again. Down on, like, he gets just, he, he doesn't even knock his head. It's just onto his back. He just gives up. Look at this. He goes, right. Thanks for the concern. I guess. It goes on. We get some LOL, so random humor. What did the fish say when it bumped its head? Uh, damn, haha, ha, get it? I need new friends. I need new writers on these books. Um, look at this. First of all, printing error. Printing error. Hey, it's only $4. Look at his body language. Are you being, this is like, this looks like a brochure about cyberbullying. Are you a super soldier from the future who's 240 pounds of muscle? Are people playing keep away with you on the playground? Well, call this number. Oh my gosh, do we need to start a freaking charity for this guy? Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. It's been a very long day, Danny. Want to talk about it? <laughs> and then he literally talks about, he goes, people are laughing. So his sister comes up bonks him on the head look at that little no reaction first of all this is very condescending this is not a caring caress she's literally condescending playing with it's like he's a dog or something like that it's like hey which hand is in it which hand oh it's empty where's the other one this is humiliating then he gets beat up by alpha male versions of himself government name actual bishop not this freaking soy boy cuck and again i know this is an alternate dimension and people can be different in alternate timelines but this is how i've been seeing him and you know who the only person who writes him with any kind of freaking huevos is uh cena grace he's the only one who writes bishop in character and they even have him dressed in like the old uh this old uniform although it's not supposed to be baby blue it's supposed to be navy blue um but uh and it, oh and then it ends with him being choked out Do you remember my rule about whoever is in the title? What? Okay, so I don't know who Prisoner X is. It could be Polar Polaris. By the way, Polaris doesn't do anything like this. She's barely in the book. Uh, but all they talk about is Lucas Bishop, so he seems to be the main character. Whoever is the main character, who is whoever is the title character, needs to do something awesome. I mean, he's obvious. No one's ever going to call HR on this guy. This is a guy, you can just rob him straight out. As long as you say you're borrowing it. Hey man, hey man, let me borrow your watch. Um, yeah, I mean, I just bought, I just bought it. And, yeah. Oh, by the way, this is not art. This is a, this is a ink. This is a print error. Marvel is now making their uh, comics at Kinko's. If you ever go into a Kinko's in the New York City area and you see Alana Smith or Jordan, what's his name, or Tom Brevoort, uh, it's going to be a long wait. Because they're going to be printing out all of the books. This is literally Epson printer bought at freaking Target level quality. Anyway, uh, so that's about it. <laughs> this book sucks. Uh, uh, again, for people, uh, backers of Jawbreakers Lost Souls, if you haven't gotten your book in America, definitely. America, Canada, basically any of the Americas, you should definitely have it by now. Um, uh, Europe, I'd say so. Some people are, you know, uh, uh, most people should have it. And if anyone doesn't have it, you should have it by the end of the week. Unless you're in a country where they just like sit on it for like a month or so. But anyway, if you don't have it, let me know. And uh, I'll, I'll put you on the list for a replacement. Um, I'm also getting the posters. I'll, I'm going to do an update uh, on the Indiegogo about the posters. And, uh, but I'm going to be doing the, uh, the remastered Indiegogo. That's going to launch in like a week, uh, April 16th, 15th, 16th, uh, probably. Uh, I got the Gemini mailers in the mail yesterday. I should be getting the posters any day now. I should be getting the extra books any day now. I'm actually going to 
send an email to check on those because they supposedly sent it uh, last week. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe. Make sure you still su subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone giving to the uh, GoFundMe and the Indiegogo. I got one more new comic from last week. It's I don't know the name of it. <laughs> it's uh, Carl Kessel writing and uh, Tom Grumet art. And I just I just I literally just saw those two credits and I just bought it. I don't really even know the name of this book. I just flipped through it to make sure that Tom Grumet was also doing interiors and he was and I just bought it. So it's whatever book that is. Do that one tomorrow and then I'll be getting new comics. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.